What's up guys? As you may already know, there are a bunch of different ways to tie a tie. In my last video, I showed you how to tie the basic Windsor knot. And in this one, I'm going to show you a little trick that was taught to me by a friend of mine named Jack Dawes. The infamous, dreaded, Eldridge. If you haven't checked out his channel yet, feel free to go do that. I will include a link in the description down below. And without further ado, let's get to it. So the first thing you need to know about this knot is that it's backwards. Which means, the last time you did it, the fat end was on your left. That means, now the fat end's on your right. We're going to put the fat end of the tie right at your belly button. We're going to pinch it off right at the neck. And we're going to loop it around, just like we did with the last one. Okay. So now we've got it here. Now we're going to feed it up through the neck, just like we did before. So now we bring it over. Look, now it's on your right. We're going to feed it up through the neck. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Bring it over one more time to the left. Feed it through the neck. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Now we're going to bring it to the right one more time. Feed it through the neck. Now, here is the last step. Okay? We're going to reach down and we're going to find a little loop at the very bottom that we created on the very first step. And we looped it around. And we're going to bring the skinny end through that little loop in the back. And we're going to pull it through. Now, remember, this tie is backwards, like I said. Which means, instead of pulling the back end to adjust the height, you're going to pull the front end. You're going to pull the fat end. And that's how you do it. And as always, with any tie, the very last thing you do, put the skinny end through the little loop in the back. And that, my friends, is the easiest way to tie the Eldridge Knot. Thank you, Jack Dawes. And, uh... Thank you, America. Really. Okay, bye.